Jennifer Thomas. And we'll start with Turkey, where the gloves are off in an ongoing power struggle between the, city, the country's Prime Minister, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, and an influential Muslim cleric. Mr Erdogan says he'll be seeking the extradition of the cleric, Fethullah Gulen, from the United States. Speaking on American television, Mr Erdogan accused the Gulen supporters of involvement in a civilian coup against his government. The December 17th, December 25th, these are the final steps which uh, became almost a coup. And they were almost also a coup? Yes. Yes, it was a coup. It was a civilian coup. This is what they were uh, doing. So why has Mr. Erdogan decided to move against Mr. Gulen now? Well, BBC Turkish Services' Selin Girit has more on the story for us from Istanbul. After his governing party's victory in the local elections last month, Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan, in a speech, had vowed to bring his enemies back into account. His top enemy used to be his former ally, an Islamist cleric now based in U.S. state Pennsylvania, Mr. Fethullah Gulen. In an interview he gave to the U.S. broadcaster PBS yesterday, Mr. Erdogan said he hoped that Washington would deport Mr. Gulen and send him to Turkey. This was the very first interview he had given to a foreign news organization after the local elections. And he said that he hoped Washington, as a model partner, would deliver on the issue. And he said at least they should deport Mr. Gulen back. Mr. Gulen and Mr. Erdogan used to be very close allies, as I said previously, until very recently, though. Last year, uh, in December, very serious corruption allegations emerged against the government, against the prime minister himself and his immediate family. Mr. Erdogan said these allegations were fake, were false, and accused Mr. Gulen and his followers of uh, being behind a campaign to topple the government with these kind of allegations. Mr. Gulen has denied these uh, accusations. Uh, the Americans are yet to respond to Mr. Erdogan's request on uh, Gulen's extradition.